Hi everyone, Richard here. Look what I have with me. This is a new laptop from Joy. This is the Joybook 155 Pro. This is a beautiful looking full aluminum chassis laptop and it's super thin. Look at that. So thin. And it's only 1.4 kilograms. So what's interesting is it runs on a Intel Celeron processor, which is the N4210 processor, coupled with 4 GB of uh, DDR RAM and 64 GB eMMC built-in uh, storage. What's beautiful about it, it has an additional slot here for M.2. Uh, you can put in the M.2 SSD inside here which you can go up to max 512GB of M.2 SSD. And on top of that, you can see the ports here is Type-C charging. And then you have the HDMI, it's a mini uh, micro HDMI output. So you need an adapter for that. But what's beautiful is the Type-C charging and the Type-C port. On the other side, you have a Type-A 3.0 port and a headphone input. So you have a headphone uh, input here inside and then you have the uh, Type A. And it's very clean, there's nothing here. So we'll have a look at the inside and see how's the performance. I'll do some benchmark on it. Maybe I'll try to play some games on it. This is good for work from home. If you happen to be working from home and you need a secondary laptop or even if you're studying at home and you need to get one laptop for maybe two, two of your children, then this is a good price laptop and it's great for studying and work from home. Uh, just work tasks, normal daily work documents, Excel. Uh, it does run on a Intel UHD graphics 600. So no heavy gaming, but this is actually a productivity laptop uh, at a good price. And we'll have a look at it now. So we're looking at a 14 inch uh, full HD IPS screen. This is a 1920 by 1080p. And there is a one megapixel camera right on the top. And you know how important we have to zoom nowadays, right? So it's really good for if you're working from home, or if you're studying, at least there's a camera here. And it's not at the bottom pointing at your nostrils. So you have the Joy logo right at the bottom. I'm glad they left the camera on top and it's a full metal chassis and the keys are chiclet keys and quite firm you see quite not much flex it's quite solid actually so this is actually a Windows 10 Pro why it's important to have a Windows 10 Pro if you're going to work from home you need to access all your network and only the Windows 10 Pro will be able to get in to your office network even if for education if you're going to the school network better use the Windows 10 Pro so the price comes with it so that's the advantage of this laptop imagine you can have a, a reasonable price I'll put the link below for the price for this and a full working workhorse and such a beauty because it's so thin and uh, like it feels very solidly built I'm quite impressed with it the other thing is, this is a backlit keyboard. So at this price, it comes with a backlit keyboard, which is amazingly good. Uh, some laptops, even though their price is low for budget entry, they don't have a backlit keyboard. So you actually can work in the night while your partner is asleep. Right? So the keys, you can hear the keys. The keys are not loud. So being that means you can do it quietly, you can. You don't have those loud keyboard key clicks that you get. And this, let's look at the, the drive. So it comes with a 64 GB uh, eMMC, but you can add on uh, another 512 GB. This model comes with a 256 GB already, um, but you can add increase it to 512 GB on the M.2 slot which is uh, you can insert it at the bottom so what is beautiful about this it is 
charging from the type C which is I'm always a proponent for type C it reduces all your weight and this is the charging brake size that comes with it so it's a type C charging brake so you can use a 36 watt USB charging brake or a 65 watt charging brake that you can travel with you uh, to charge your phone and this laptop at the same time because it only takes up 24 watt so the dimensions of this is 324 by 209 by 13.5 mm thick but this thickness includes the rubber stoppers the four feet that you have below it's actually I this is probably only 11 mm thickness if you minus the rubber stoppers so powering the Joybook uh, 155 Pro is a 37 watt hour lithium polymer battery so maybe I'll run a test on the battery life uh, now it's full and we can see how long before it goes off so it's 91% since I started it and now we can see how many hours after I run the benchmark and see how what's left on the battery so before I run any benchmark let's do the audio test let's see how the speaker sounds like and then we will have a look now currently I'm recording in stereo so there's two mics left and right you can hear how the sound sounds like any stereo separation let's play so 100% you can hear it. There's no rattling. Sound is coming from the bottom. So what do you think? Does it sound good? I think it sounds good. All these uh, metal chassis or aluminum chassis laptops they have good sound because that keeps the base in doesn't sound too teeny and the sound separation is good because there's two speakers here and you can test here on the two microphone that I was recording with so let's get on to benchmarks so let's run the crystal this uh, benchmark and have a look what kind of speeds you can get there's two that is the M.2 we're looking at the M.2's and then this is the 64GB in built eMMC so let's do the 64GB first so the eMMC is at uh, three, uh, about 300 read and 220 or 230 write speed so we'll do the M.2 and compare the results it's about 300 and 230 so we we'll run the m.2 right very good speed so 560 for read and uh, 517 for write so the m.2 is faster so it's good to have the m.2 inside so let's try uh, Cinebench I'm not sure whether it will work uh, well, we'll just run it and see I'm surprised they started rendering. <laughs> so let's see how well this does on the Cine Bench. Surprise, surprise, it finished the rendering. So not too bad, right? So it's 941 points for multi core. Let's try single core. Uh, do note, I'm running this benchmark uh, without plugging in. So it's purely on the battery itself so I would think the processor is using very minimum power so you can see that's why the scores are pretty low so single core is uh, 3 to 5 points We're looking at these specs here right at the bottom and multi-core is way at the bottom so if this is so we're not expecting much on 3D. 
Um, trying to run 3D Mark, I'm not even sure it will be running. Um, Geekbench 5 didn't run either. So, when being a productivity laptop just for Excel, Word document, uh, using Microsoft Office is sufficient. It's a bit running on a stretch, <laughs> trying to play Fire Strike on this uh, Celeron processor with the Intel 600 graphic. It's looking at the uh, 1.6 frames per second, uh, as I guess it will be less than 2 frames per second. You're not going to expect much 3D out of this laptop, but again, just for fun, I'm testing it out. Okay, so the results is 273 for Fire Strike, uh, running at about 1.37 frames per second for the first test, and second test is 1.23 frames. Physics score is 3042, running at about 9.66 frames per second. Combined score is 92. And this is the Intel UHD Graphics 600 with the Intel Celeron N4120 which has just been benchmarked by 3 d Mark. So we got Dash the uh, World of Tanks. I like it because it detects your settings and what, uh, how many cores you have and then what kind of graphic card and then it will adjust accordingly and set up the resolution. So currently it's set it at uh, 1366 times 768 resolution for the test and then we will run it. So you can see the Intel Celeron frequency is uh, running there and then the temperature and the RAM So we're at the minimum setting available and the uh, World of Time benchmark is great because it does adjust for your hardware. As you can see the rendering is bare minimum and the water is not rendered uh, as 3D as possible but uh, it's still playable you're getting 28 frames per second sometimes 30 if you can get 30 frames per second it's still playable but it is a productivity laptop in terms of you using Excel and using Word document on this on the go while you work from home trying to play 3D games on this is uh, really pulling it to a stretch um, not advisable at all so do use it for your work but if you really need to play it's still playable but it's very low frame rates at minimum setting it's barely hot uh, there's not much heat uh, except where the lower left it's a bit warm, I think that's where the processor is. And but the rest of the place is still cool. Surprise, surprise, 8276. I think because minimum setting, right? Uh ray tracing off, graphics minimum, resolution is 1366 by 768 and it's running just on the UHD Graphics 600 so not bad yeah World of Tanks very generous to this laptop so just to look at the battery life I started at 1.30 now it's 5.30 it's been like 4 hours and it's still about 1 hour 15 minutes left 36% from 100% and they, I would expect another hour more if I keep on using for benchmark and things like that uh, set to maximum performance you will probably get about four or five hours uh, on this so that's about the battery life so there you have it uh, if you want to browse I would suggest using the 
Microsoft Edge, which is very friendly to the 4 gigs of RAM, um, not advisable to use Chrome because it will eat up all your RAM memory. So you can just run Office 365 from the web browser and do all your Excel and Microsoft Word documents. Um, do look at the Office for Family. So Office 365 Family offers you six user license. So you, your whole family can use the Office 365 and it comes with one terabyte of uh, one drive. You can store your photos there. So it's yearly subscription and you can have a link, uh, look at the links I'll give below. And it works well with this uh, laptop. It's light and easy and you can carry this around and do all your uh, productivity work, uh, Microsoft Word, Doc, Excel, Outlook your emails and all your shared files here. Just don't play heavy games on this. So, scan, uh, Intel Celeron, and then 4 gigs of RAM with the 64 GB eMMC. On top of that, you have a space for your M.2 SSD. So, uh, this version comes with the 256 GB SSD you can add on to maximum 512 GB SSD and maybe you can put in the faster SSD that will help on this laptop it's great, it's thin, uh, beautiful screen uh, only thing is uh, the ports are lacking uh, micro HDMI one USB type C and then one type A and then a headphone jack so that's all the ports that you have uh, the only expandable uh, that you can customize is the M.2 SSDs slot and there's no additional 8GB uh, RAM I would love if they put in a faster processor with 8GB of RAM and this would probably be a very good uh, productivity maybe a bit of gaming laptop as far as the design wise I have no complaint it's very solid build and uh, I like the finishing, the the, mat, the aluminum chassis, and that's it. This is a quick look at how this uh, Joybook 155 Pro is, and uh, I would love to see more products coming up from Joy. Uh, they're actually very good at uh, coming up with a budget series that is uh, friendly on your pocket. So. Do give me a thumbs up if you like the video and uh, do subscribe for my next one and check out uh, Joy's website and uh, links below and I'll see you on the next video. See you. Bye.